Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys. If you have a BMW 3 Series, I'm talking about generation E90, E91, 92 or 93 guys. And you're trying to disconnect transmission line or transmission holes. You have that special connector. Stay with us, we'll cover everything from start to finish. Even if your fitting that you use to disconnect it is broken or missing, we'll explain guys what else you can use to do that. So make sure you stand till the end. Before we start guys, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos specifically on BMW 3 series we will have close to four maybe even 500 videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you guys if you need to uh, buy any tools parts anything for your BMW guys uh, BMW 3 Series, check out the links will be shared in the description of the video below for your convenience. Uh, another thing guys, this channel right here, Electrical Car Repair Life, it's our second channel. It has quite helpful information on electrical components, testing different components, diagnostics, engine codes, transmission codes, fuses and relays. So please check it out and subscribe. Uh, there is very helpful information that can save you so much time and money as well. Now. What we'll be demonstrating here, okay, those are the transmission lines. You can see for the transmission cooler here. Uh, but uh, some guys, okay, uh, some will have them at a different location, but we will use exactly the same guys, exactly the same type of connector, like this one right here, you can see. You have that plastic piece that you use to actually, with that piece, you're going to disconnect the hose. Now, there is something else, guys. Sometimes, if the car was taken apart, let's say cooler was replaced or something, engine transmission was replaced, uh, what can happen, okay, maybe people broke that, when they were trying to get them out and they didn't install that thing and if yours is missing stay with us until the end and we'll show you what else we use guys so what we recommend clean everything really good make sure you don't have any dust dirt contamination and make sure it spins like that okay you can see you can turn it if it doesn't guys what i'll recommend use some w okay some wd-40 penetrating spray just spray here to clean all the dirt dust and all that stuff and now what you're going to do, okay, let me show you quick. Right here, you're going to get that hose, and that hose, you're going to push it all the way in. Okay, you can see how it can move about two, three millimeters. Push it all the way in. While you're holding it in, you're going to press that plastic uh, uh, tube all the way inside, evenly on each side, and at the same time, start pulling the transmission line out. Okay, and it comes out, guys. This is it. Okay, you can see it just like that. Now, uh, let me just explain about that a little bit, guys. Now, on the inside, you have four different plates, like this one, plastic, uh, that metal one there. One, two, three, four, guys. Those four plates get stuck right here. And with the help of that two, you're compressing those. If it's broken, okay, those are the tools that you can use. And I'm going to show you now. For instance, this is the one that fits, I think, really good. It goes on top of the line, maybe it's the next one. It goes like that, and with the help of that tool, you're going to compress them and pull them out. So, you can do it with this one, and we'll put the link in the description of the video below, guys. Now, when you're ready to connect it, everything, okay, is uh, super easy, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Make sure everything's clean, okay? Apply a little bit of oil here where it's going to slide, because you have an O-ring that gets stuck, and just go ahead. Okay, push it until it clicks and make sure it doesn't come out. Okay, just like that. So hopefully guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.